Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our reef creature features where the focus today is a small species of anemone. Now many of you will be familiar with anemones, particularly those that play host to the anemone fish. This is not one of those. Globally there's over a thousand species of anemones. This anemone that we have under the microscope is a small species. We call it the Aptasia anemone. And anemones are somewhat related to animals like jellyfish. In fact, if I make my hand into the shape of a jellyfish where my fingers are the stinging tentacles, and you invert that, an upside down jellyfish is a little bit like our anemone on the screen. They're a simple animal. They have a foot or a basal disc, which you can see here is attached to the substrate. They have a trunk-like body, and then what we have in the middle is their oral disc. Their mouth is in the middle, and they have a battery of stinging tentacles around that oral disc. That's their feeding weaponry pointed up into the column to collect any passing plankton or food particles the water might deliver to them. Once they catch, capture food, they can pass that to their mouth in the middle, take that food in, digest it, and any waste comes back out through the same opening. So they have a two-way gut, food goes in, and waste comes back out the other way. So we've got another specimen of the same sort of anemone that we're about to feed, and the food we're using is hatched out on a daily basis here at the aquarium. It's a species of brine shrimp, a 48-hour-old stage of this brine shrimp, and we'll put some of that into the water now. So what we can see here is the rapid contraction of the tentacles. As those shrimp come into contact with the tentacles, little stinging cells fire off, and that envenomates, immobilizes, and actually adheres or sticks the shrimp to those tentacles. The tentacles then move towards the mouth in the center of the oral disc. Those tentacles get deposited in the mouth, the food gets remo removed, and the tentacles are then re-extended to catch more passing food. However, let me point out another way these animals gain nourishment. The colour that we see in the anemone is due to a symbiotic, microscopic algae. So the algae is free living in the waters and the anemones are able to collect these microscopic algae out of the water and sequester them within their cells, keep them alive within their cells. These single-celled plant-like organisms are able to make their own food from the sun's energy. This colour bears a similar resemblance to what many of our reef building corals have on the Great Barrier Reef for they too have a similar symbiotic association with these symbiotic algae. So despite being a small species of anemone, I'm sure you'll agree, they're pretty amazing animals. Uh, however, they're not a desired display animal at the aquarium, and they can be regarded as somewhat as a pest by our aquarists or even home hobbyists that keep a tank at home. Uh, without their natural predators in that tank or aquarium, they can proliferate quite quickly and get that name as a weedy anemone. And quite a tricky one to keep under control in an aquarium. So our preferred method of control is to put in the display an animal that might feed on them naturally in the wild. And that would be, for our purposes, something like a butterfly fish. So even though these small animals are a bit of a pest at times in our aquarium, they're an amazing reef creature and have their role to play on the reef. And by virtue of that association or relationship that they have with those symbiotic algae within their tissues, shared by our corals on the Great Barrier Reef, these anemones are also susceptible to thermal stress or high water temperatures and bleaching. So as a parting message, let's think about what we can do in reducing our energy use the amount of energy we use or consume on a daily basis, if we can reduce that, turning off lights, turning off appliances at the wall when you don't need them on, that reduces your carbon footprint, helps the environment, will help out our Great Barrier Reef too. Thank you for joining us for this reef creature feature and keep an eye on our other 
social media channels where there will be other educational content coming out.